Good afternoon, dear students. I'm Atejana Vamaloka, and today again we will have a practical phonetics with you. If you can remember at our last lesson, we spoke about intonation, the role of intonation in our speech, uh, and types of intonation patterns. And at that time, we told you that it is distinguished uh, two main types of intonation, folding intonation and the rising intonation, and uh, each one of them are divided into some subgroups. For example, if we take uh, folding intonation, it is distinguished three types of folding intonation, low folding intonation, uh, high folding intonation, and rise folding intonation. Uh, as for the rising uh, intonation, it is distinguished four types of them. The first one is low rise, the second one is high rise, and then the next one is fall rise, and the last one is rise, fall, rising nucleotone. And the last eighth type of uh, nucleotone intonation pattern is the mid-level tone. So as a continuation of that uh, theme, today we will speak about the intonation of special questions. First of all, let's clarify, let's remember the structure of the type of a special question. So what kind of questions are called special ones? Let's remember this one. Questions which begin with interrogative words and interrogative pronouns are called special questions. But here, as we are having practical phonetics, we will speak about the intonation in special questions. Special questions are usually pronounced with the low falling nuclear tone. Uh, in this case, uh, they sound uh, searching, they sound serious and business like. For example, let's write some examples. Why did you decide to do? That, for example, why did you decide to do that? Why did you decide to do that? So this special question uh, sounds uh, uh, serious uh, and business-like. Let's put the stress marks. Uh, if you can remember at our last lesson, I told you that the words are divided into content words and the structure words. And uh, uh, content words are words. Uh, it is notional parts of speech. They are noun, verb, uh, pro, uh, noun, verb, adverb, adjective, and numerals. And as for the structure words, they are auxiliary verbs, articles, particles, prepositions, and conjunctions. So let's put the stress marks according to, the, to that rule. Uh, it is uh, auxiliary word, it's not stress. Pronoun is also included in structure words. And the D side, uh, this word is a content word and it, is consi it consists of two syllables. and not the first, but the second syllable is stressed here. Decide. Decide. Why did you decide to do, to do that? So that is a demonstrative pronoun and it is also stressed. So let's intone it according to those stress marks. Why did you decide to do that? And at the end, we should close the tonal grammar with two vertical lines. Why did you decide to do that? Why did you decide to do that? So repeat after me, please. Why did you decide to do that? And the second type of special question. So they can uh, be pronounced uh, with the low rising nuclear tone. Uh, when the speaker shows great interest to know something, uh, in this case, when the speaker is eager to know something, in this case, special questions can be pronounced with the low rising nuclear tone. For example, where, uh, where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Uh, or what is your what is your name? Let's put the stress marks again. Where do you 
So it's good to stress my popular rights because we told that here in this type of special questions, the speaker is eager to know something. The speaker shows great interest in a certain thing. That's why it is pronounced with the low rising nuclear tone. Where do, uh, and where, where do you live? Where do you live? And the next uh, question is, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? So repeat after me, please. What's your name? I'm showing great interest to know your name. I'm eager to know your name. And then the last type, uh, in the repeated and the echoing special questions, uh, again, low rising nuclear tone is used. Low rising nuclear tone is used. So now I will play this part. And I will write the last sentence. And we will put the stress marks. It is uh, repeated and echoing special questions. For example, we will write here verbal context. I went with Jack. And here the response is Who did you go with? Who did you who did you go with? Who did you go with? So uh so next let's write one more question for this type to explain this type uh for example it took me it took me an hour an hour and this is a web of context and the response let's write down the response to you here uh hello hello it took me an hour it took me an hour it took me an hour uh, to do to do it for example it took me an hour to do it it took me an hour to do it the response is hello hello because this is a repeated or echoing question so that is why uh, the speaker is pronouncing that uh, repeated question special question with a low rising nuclear tone and as for this sentence, it is this special question. Let's put again the stress marks. So I, as a pronoun, it is not stress because it's a structured word with also a structured word. And the jack is a noun. That's why it uh, takes stress. I went with jack. So this is a statement and uh, it is declarative sentence. That is why it is pronounced with a low rising of platoon. This is a stress mark of low rise. And uh, yeah. Uh, this is more important for us. It is the response because today we are talking about the intonation of special questions. Who did you go with? Who did you go with? So uh, I'm using low writing nuclear tone in this repeated echoing special questions. And uh, this is the end of our today's lesson. Uh, your home task for the next time is uh, you will write 10 special questions uh, of your own and uh, you should put the stress marks of such kind to your uh, special questions and you should intone, you should make the tonogram of your sentences. Uh, and as I have explained to you, uh, the types of special questions it is the types of intonation uh, which can be used in special questions. You should show me in your examples all those intonation patterns. This is the end of our today's lesson. Goodbye.